This is another video in my quick tip series and what I want to show you today is how to give the sun in this photo a little bit more of a glow and to make the blending which I did here a more good looking. So this is the photo which I got after blending three exposures for um, the dynamic range here and also I blended in one exposure for sharpness to do photo focus stacking. So that's four images blended in total. And uh, after this first step of blending, what I also did, I removed some lens flares here. This is what you see here. Um, you can see how to do this in another video of my quick tips series where I cover the removal of lens flares. But what I want to show you here is what I did with this glow layer so this might look a little bit drastic in this uh, first uh, bright frame here. But what it does, it um, gives the sun here a little bit more focus, um, gives it a nice little bit blurry look. And if you look at the final photo, which I have here, um, this just looks very cool. So you, you have some r more radiant look of the sun in this photo. And what's it about this glow layer? Really, it's not much. It's just a new layer which I create. Then I take a brush with a low opacity, a big brush, and I set smooth edges for it. I can sample a color right here from the inner part of the sun, which is a very bright yellow. And then I start with like 10% opacity and just draw once over the sun, maybe twice. And I make the brush a little bit more smaller. And I could also sample a more reddish color here. Use 5%. And for the inner circle, let's try something which is nearly white because the sun should be white in the photo. Let's zoom in a bit. See the before and after. So if you look at the photo now, this might be a little bit too much. So you can control the contrast here. Uh, not the contrast, the opacity. And when you then continue your processing with, a, for example, adding curves, this glow will look more natural because here in this bright image, it, it's, it's not needed. But if you continue with curves, for example, and give this image more contrast. So let's now see the difference. If I didn't add this glow, it would would be much too harsh here. It wouldn't look so good. And if I add this glow, then it looks really nice. And this is also how I came to this result here. What you also notice for the final result, I did some perspective correction and then mostly contrast and color. 